स्वाध्याय टीवी डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी नमस्कार हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर आवा शुक्ला फ्रॉम बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी we have always been discussing about mass communication friends uh, since last four sessions we are discussing regarding what is communication its elements its barriers how can one become a good communicator in mass medium so there are many points when we say mass medium we need to keep in mind and different topics which we have discussed regarding mass media today we shall discuss regarding development of mass communication what do we understand by development of mass communication anything or any new concept which a person gains or which a common man gains needs to be popularized just by any medium which me or you use it cannot become a mass medium it should be communicated it should be used by all the people across the world nowadays all of us are familiar about social media we all use it we all use different kind of medias what are those print media television medium maybe radio medium mobile medium we have internet also how do we use them any program or any one item we say when it is published or when it is popularized through any kind of audio visual media how do we understand where how do we come to know that how do you know that you use whatsapp how do you know that you see this program of television how do you know that we should listen, listen this program of radio how do you come to know it is all a special kind of cycle friends which is known as mass media cycle and known as eps cycle so let us discuss what is eps cycle so let us know what is eps cycle in mass media what does e stand for e is elitist group p popular and s is specialized all of us have heard of these three words now these three words together lead to the eps cycle of mass media now let us discuss all the three in detail the first one we wrote was elitist cycle what do we understand by elitist friends elitist means a high class group what is a high class group it is a few people's group who adopt any new fashion or any new media to show off or to show their knowledge level or to show their uniqueness in front of different people what is it it is also called as high culture high culture means a very few people's group who adopt to a particular media when you promote one media when you say that you want to share your views through magazine through newspaper through a different or unique kind of a program through television you need some people who read it who view it or who hear it so that group becomes your higher class group or the elite group so it is known as known as high culture and the other group who adopts after the high culture adopts is known as the folk culture folk is the common man or the common people who adopts by looking at a different people let us have one example of it we all wear dresses different kind of dresses 
the fashion changes in dress how does the fashion change how do you adopt it we see in some television we see a dress worn by a hero or heroine in a television or maybe a fashion icon who wears it or maybe a fashion show which has depicted a special kind of dress from there we adopt so first it is that group who is going to wear it who are going to popularize it after that the high icons will adopt the same pattern and then the common man in the same way it is the media it is adopted by few class or few people then it goes on widening then it again goes on widening so the first step is the elite step the elitist group who adopts a specific kind of a culture to promote the medium or the media you are sharing with the people then comes the popular stage what is the popular stage it is the peak stage of a program or of a medium where it is at the highest level of promotion what is that that means the program or the article or the radio event is having a specific mass popularity among the people there are many different programs who have different kind of viewership who have different kind of readability there are articles in print media there are programs in television media in radios or in internet who have a specific group who read or view or listen to the format what is that it is the popularized stage it is the stage where people know about the program people know about the event to be happening and then they prefer to listen to it they prefer to view it they prefer to read it so it is known as the popular stage the next stage which we wrote which we saw was specialized stage specialization we all know what is it it is a specific kind of a program event article or any kind of promotion specialization can be in different formats if we go in specific pro, uh, mediums let us talk about print media in print media there can be different articles which we read people may be people uh, like to read about uh, what to say cookeries people may like to read about some crimes happening amongst us people may like to read about some different kind of uh, events that are happening so they read through the medium and it is a specific special focused medium it is a spoke focused program which is preferred by the people again there may be events in televisions also like crime shows we will discuss about it while we discuss about the audio visual mediums also but they can be seen there are some people or some age group who like to see only cartoons we understand who see cartoons there are some group who like to see just soap operas there are some group who like to see just movies there are some group who just like to read news on uh, radio to listen there are some group who like to listen songs on the radio what is it all about it is about a specialized focused program or a format which the media or the population wants so again the cycle reaches to the third stage and again after the specialization a new format is started how the new format is started from the elite group the adoption of different unique program starts again so eps cycle is adopted when we talk about development of any kind of mass media now friends after discussing about all different kind of mass media let us talk about individual media in detail first and foremost let us discuss about print media what is print media where we started from print media print media is so popular friends that all of us know about it it is composed of we can say newspapers which we read daily community news uh, letters what are the community news letters they are published every time wire services magazines and other publications within these publications there are two main divisions of labor one is reporting and the other one is editing who are the reporters 
reporters are the news writers who actually document the events. They investigate the newsworthy events and interesting stories and editors, they assign the stories to the reporters, they edit the stories, they edit the content which is written by the reporters and decide which stories are to be printed and which are not to be printed. Now let us discuss why this print media is important. The print media is an effective way to alert the public to the weatherization regarding some news programs, regarding some events to be happening, how it is working, etc. Readers often bypass paid advertising. People do not understand why we need to pay. So, we happen to design a specific storyline from an independent journalist, journalist who increases public awareness and builds local credibility. The media reaches a broad audience of readers on a daily basis. Reporters and editors are always looking for different kind of interesting stories amongst the uh, surroundings which are actually newsworthy and which actually attract the attention of the viewers or the readers. The expand influence and name recognition is also targeted in the communities. What is name recognition? Name recognition means you know to know the journalist or the name of the paper or print, may, uh, print uh, which you want to show. Maybe the name of the newspaper, maybe the magazine, maybe the article, maybe a leaflet, anything that is printed, it, it should be promoted. Print media encompasses mass communication through printed material. It includes newspapers, it includes different kind of booklets also, it includes some brochures also, it includes some house magazines also. We all know about different kind of magazines, newspapers, periodicals rather, even newsletters, direct mailers, handbills, flyers, billboards, press releases and books also. So, there are many kind of mediums which we include in print media. Let us have a look on the PPT. See here, we have explained exactly how we distribute the different print media we have discussed. Print media is known as a medium that disseminates printed information. What is the medium? A means or instrumentality for storing or communicating information. Public press or public release. The print media is responsible for gathering and publishing news in the form of newspaper or magazines. The next is journalism, news media. Newspapers and magazines collectively are included in this and says that underground press, a system of clandestine pressing, printing and distribution of dissident or banned literature. What do we understand by banned literature? At times there are some uh, prints or some material which is not permitted legally to be printed and still they are communicated and circulated among specific communities. These communities are compelled to read this literature and act accordingly. These literature are helpful or they promote we can say illegal activities like maybe uh, riots, communal riots. Such uh, printed material is also used at the time of elections also to misguide or mislead the voters. So, we should be aware of these different mediums. See here, it is a very good beautiful picture, a pictorial example friends of print media. If we are friendly with print media, print media will be friendly to us. It is a very good embarrassing uh, picture friends. It is the best medium for us to get knowledge. It is the best medium for our children, for our youth of the country to gain knowledge. Nowadays, it is a very big shortcut to just view the television, radio or listening of music and seeing the stories maybe mythological or some another stories, novel stories in the television in the form of acting. But rather the, we are taking away the youth and our children from reading. So, 
print media basically helps in reading and promoting the students, youth and the children of country to read different things. So, it should be made friendly with all the population of our country. Now, when we say print media, we should promote it. How do we promote it? See that categories, we have discussed it earlier already. Again, we have a look on that. What are the different types of print media? Newspapers, magazines, booklets, brochures, pre-buying promotions, post-buying promotions, house magazines, periodicals or newspapers, direct mailers, handbills or flyers, billboards, press release or books. Let us discuss each one of them in a brief so that you come to know that what exactly we mean by when we name each one of them in the categories of print media. First let us see what is newspaper. All of us know nothing new. Newspapers enjoyed the position of the most preferred medium to reach a wider audience until electronic media was invented or electronic communication was emerged in the country. So, it is the maximum uh, reachability which has in any kind of print media that is newspaper. In the early days, newspaper was the only medium that masses at large depended upon for daily news. People were curious to know what is happening around them. How do they come to know? Electronic media was not there. So, they used to read newspapers. They were curious to find out what is happening in the next village, what is happening in the nearby city, what is the development around them. How do they come to know? They basically, in the rural area especially, they come to know from the print media of magazine and newspapers. Magazines have their own limitations, we will discuss. But newspaper was the only medium which was printed daily and which was circulated daily among the readers. A newspaper carries all kinds of communication related to variety of topics. What all topics are covered in newspapers? Politics, socialism, current affairs, entertainment, finance, stocks, etc. Apart from this, it also includes topics which are on lighter vein, like we see cartoons are there, crossword game is there, sudoku is there, movie reviews is there, some book reviews is also there, puzzle type of game is there. So, there are different lighter notes also in print media. This captives the imagination and interests of the readers from all age groups and all age groups definitely love to read newspapers. Newspapers are important platform for mass communication as they reach every every corner and every nook of the world where any other electronic media may not be possible to read, reach. It plays a pivotal role in providing information, authentic information, first hand information and building opinions. It also updates the knowledge of different kind of readers and serves them with uh, serves them as a good platform for advertisers also. We see many kind of advertisements also in newspapers. They are promoted, they promote products, they promote some social events, they promote some political events, they promote some government activities also. However, with the emergence of internet which updates information every second and is just a click away, the popularity of newspapers has been reduced. But reading as we all said, it should be a proper medium for our youth. We should be habituated to reading to the newspapers to know at least about the regional, about the surrounding happenings, about the different kind of language progression also, reading is required and newspapers provides with first hand information of all the surroundings and all the happenings about the unique things happening, about the unique activities being conducted, about any some social activity being conducted, even the death records and birth records we find in newspapers. So, it is definitely a different and unique medium of print media and different way of print media. Newspapers are also published in different languages. So, it connects to the people more than any other medium. If you stay in Gujarat, 
there are Gujarati newspapers along with English newspapers. If we go to Uttar Pradesh, we find Hindi newspapers over there. If we go to Maharashtra, we find Marathi newspapers also. The regional language is adopted in the newspapers. So, it gives connectivity, it gives the feeling of ownness to the readers. They feel like reading, they feel like actually adopting what the medium is trying to say because it is written in their own medium. The second type of print media which we will discuss are magazines. Magazines we all are aware of friends, what are magazines? It is a very popular culture of print media, they usually cater to specific type of audience who are actually looking for special kind of information or information based on a particular topic or a subject. Magazines cover a plethora of topic like current affairs, business, finance, consumer gadgets, self-help, luxury, lifestyle, beauty, fashion, entertainment, travel, etc. Magazines like Time and Reader's Digest include information which is all pursued. The frequency of magazines can be weekly, fortnightly, bi-monthly, quarterly, half yearly or yearly. These magazines are the best forum for advertisements as they have a Nike readership. The readers look for a specific information, say for example, a camera ad in a gadget magazine definitely have direct brand impact on the reader who wants to buy a camera. Also, the shelf life and the brand recalls of magazines is far better than newspapers which have a short life or a, a short life span. Magazines basically friends we all know that we all love to read on a special, uh, special or a specific target group based or a content valuated magazine. There are many examples of magazines as we said we all know about some common magazines which are in local languages like Chitra Lekhas, Three. There are some English magazines like Femina. All these magazines are what? Some related to social issues, some related to political issues, some, some are female based magazines, some are specially designed for kids. So, different kind of magazines give different information. The main difference in newspapers and magazines, the quality of paper, the quality of printing, the quality of content, the quality of advertisements, everything varies because it is a detailed information book format and the time period to print or publish the magazine is different. It is not on daily basis whereas the uh, press release or the newspapers are on daily basis. So, the magazines need proper content, proper book form, proper quality of papers, proper uh, advertisements to get it published. Even the rates of newspapers and magazines vary because newspaper is far cheaper as we can understand it is on daily basis and magazine it is costlier. It's, it depends upon the content, it depends upon the information, business related magazines may be more costly, high profile fashion related magazines may be more costly compared to general mag uh, magazines who contain information regarding some social activities, maybe some uh, what to say uh, political news or maybe some routinal information which they are providing. So, it depends upon the content, it depends upon the language of the magazine, it depends upon the quality of papers, printing you use, even the advertisers get, get more credibility when they advertise some specific uh, article or specific product in a magazine. The quality of magazine gives weightage to their product also, so it is utilized there also. Friends, today we have discussed about two different types of print media, one is newspapers and the other one was magazines. We shall discuss regarding the other types of print media in the next session. Here I end my session. Namaste. Swadhyay TV.